So I've been looking forward to this for a long time. If you don't know how to do it, this is a plum sauce, a teriyaki plum sauce. Look at the vibrant. As you can see, the last two I'm doing aren't as ripe, but as you can see, the super ripe ones were purple, dark, dark purple. And because they're not fully ripened, it's got that color. I got a half a dozen dark purple plums. I am making a plum teriyaki sauce. That's going to be yummy. The last sauce I made, I didn't put it up. I did a apricot teriyaki. Yummy, yummy. Right, look at that. Beautiful. And this is how you cut a plum. Don't know if I have enough liquid or enough storage containers. But who cares? This is going to be delicious. I got some teriyaki London broil, which I have never done in my life. I want to try that. And more importantly... There's a teriyaki sauce. Don't know if I had enough. Let's get rid of the drizzle. And now we're into the strip four. Don't know if I have to add more, but we'll find out. I think I'm going to set this onto soup. After it's done, I put that into there and pour it in. All right, quick pause for the cause. All right, it seems like the soup mode worked out perfectly. I have my beautiful plum teriyaki sauce. And I'm going to hit it for you so you can see it. Definitely nice having one of these professional, heavy-duty, grind-anything blenders. All right, quick pause for the cause. Um, there you can see the color. Look at the, the depth of color there. I'm going to give it a quick how it taste. Ooh, wow. That is great. Something to do with some of the uh, fruits of the year. Seen them on sale. I think I got them for 99 cents. Now it's going into the bottle very, very slow. So you have to tilt it at an angle so the air can leave the bottle and the fluid can enter. Don't know what kind of container. I'll just empty out a water bottle. All right. There's my first bottle. Be sticking this teriyaki plum sauce on everything. Nice dipping sauce. All right, I just need some containers for this. Hope you like it. It's delicious.